Yo, what's going on guys? Jake here with Tech Creation. So Google just released the Chromecast 2.0. And if you don't know what's a Chromecast, you're gonna learn today. So here's everything you need to know about the Chromecast 2.0. Simply put, Chromecast allows you to share content from your smartphone, tablet, or PC to your television, as well as mirror their screens, essentially making a dumb TV a smart TV. Chromecast is compatible with Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac. And it's also available in lemonade and coral colors. And I wish they had it in silver, but it's not like anyone's gonna see this behind your TV anyway. So the advertising on the box threw me off a little bit. I thought it was much bigger, but it's actually really tiny. The first notable change is in the design. It now takes on a round shape, ultimately <laughs> looking like a hockey puck, whereas before it was just a fat HDMI stick. It's made of a hard, shiny plastic material, which is what makes this so affordable. And at $35, it's a steal compared to the likes of other streaming devices like the Apple TV or Roku, for example. The price of the original also dropped to 28 bucks on Amazon, I believe. So if your budget is really tight, I'll leave a link for you down below in the description in case you're interested. So if you notice the logo on the front of it, it sort of looks like the Dre Beats logo, but rest assured, it's actually just the Chrome logo and it's been that way for quite some time. There's a power button that's flush to the body and protruding from it is a flat HDMI cable that plugs into your TV, which is a design improvement as it leaves room for your other HDMI components. And thanks to the magnetic backing of the Chromecast, the cable snaps right onto it, keeping it nice and neat for stowing away or for traveling purposes. Lastly, it comes with an AC power supply to juice it up via wall outlet or your television. Setting it up is stupid simple. So let's start with the setup and then we'll talk about what's new. You plug this end into the HDMI port on your television and then plug the micro USB cable into the Chromecast. And then you plug the adapter into a wall or into an available USB port on your television to feed it power, which is the more ideal way of doing it. Then you turn on your TV, switch it to the correct HDMI port you plugged it into, and then download the Chromecast app on your iPhone or Android. If you're on a Mac or PC, visit this link to get started. It's the same procedure. So for setup purposes, I'll be using a smartphone. So once you've launched the app and the TV is powered on, it'll then pick up the Chromecast automatically. And then you just follow the simple steps to proceed in connecting it to your home Wi-Fi. You also wanna make sure that all of your devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi. That's very key. It should take no more than 10 seconds to complete. And when the setup is complete and a Chromecast compatible app like YouTube, for example, Look for this icon, tap it, and you'll begin to instantly stream content to your television or monitor. Alternatively, if you're on a computer, you wanna grab the Google Cast extension for your Chrome browser to cast content from your PC. Keep in mind the Chromecast is also compatible with third-party apps like LocalCast and AllCast. One important note, make sure your Chromecast and devices are within a good range from your router for best results, or else you're going to experience connection problems. It's something to keep in mind if you happen to live in a two-story house. What makes this all the more better is if you don't have a wireless router, Google sells an ethernet adapter to plug your existing ethernet cable from your modem directly into the USB port of your Chromecast for internet access. Now, how cool is that? So what's new? Well, for starters, Chromecast now supports the latest standards in Wi-Fi streaming, which is 802.11ac along with five gigahertz networks. But don't let those numbers confuse you. This just means it works with basically all modern Wi-Fi networks and routers. And to take advantage of this compatibility, there's a new software tweak on the Chromecast that's called FastPlay. Now, this is not a settings toggle or anything. It's just something that occurs automatically. So the Chromecast will assume you'll want to watch something beforehand based on the screen that you're on and it'll begin to preload the content. So for example, it'll preload a Netflix movie before you even hit play, making it ideal for, let's say, Netflix and chill. I've noticed a slight difference in playback, but it wasn't anything out of this world. Individual experience will vary. Factors like Wi-Fi speeds and distance may affect results. Google says that more apps will begin to support Flash Play in the future, and I'm excited to hear that. Speaking of apps, the redesigned Chromecast app is also pretty cool. It shows you your Chromecast compatible apps that you currently have installed along with their featured content. It also shows the Chromecast on your network if you have more than one, and the ability to search a library of over 1,000 Chromecast-ready apps including popular ones like Spotify, 
Pandora, or ESPN. So feel free to spend some time browsing around. Select games also have native Chromecast support for your Android or iOS device, although widespread support is currently limited. But one of the games that was demoed at Google's event is Angry Birds Go in multiplayer mode. So it sort of gives you an idea of what to expect with the support of more games coming in the future. But as I mentioned earlier, you've always been able to cast your phone's screen in both portrait and landscape mode, as I'm demonstrating right now. So playing games with screencast alternatively seemed to work just fine for me with a solid connection. It's convenient if you want to browse the Chromecast app or Netflix while you decide what to watch. Although Google cautions you that some screens may not play well with the screencast feature. But I gotta say overall, it's been really smooth sailing for me. And I'm sure that's due to the updated network support and the fact that I'm on a five gigahertz connection with 50 megabit speeds up and down. Overall, this is some fantastic plastic and a great bang for its buck. The whole takeaway from the new Chromecast is Google wants to make sure your streaming is instantaneous with a more solid and reliable connection to feed that instant gratification that we as consumers yearn for. So the combination of fast play and support for the latest Wi-Fi technology makes for a great digital marriage. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to show some love to that like button and feel free to drop a comment below as well. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so for some more awesome content and be on the lookout for a mega huge ginormous giveaway coming up in the near future. I want to thank you all for being such great viewers. Thanks for sticking around and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.